Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're going to talk about factors and multiples. So, uh, one of the big questions for today and hopefully this will help us understand what factors and multiples are is what's M&M &M got to do with maths and in particular factors and multiples? Well hopefully I'm going to use M&M &M to teach us today uh, what a factor and a multiple actually are and in, uh, we're going to use that to find the factors and multiples of a number by listing. Okay, so here's my idea about factors and multiples and M&M. &M. We know this man here, actually his name is Marshall Mathers. Okay, his real name is Marshall Mathers. And he's a man. Now, he has two sides to him. If you know he's got alter egos, he's got Eminem, the singer, and he's got another alter ego called Slim Shady, which um, is his bad side, as it were. Now, um, you can think of, if you think of Marshall Mathers, you can think of the factors of him are the parts that make him up. The factors of Marshall Mathers are, well, half it, some of him is the Slim Shady part and some of him is the Eminem, the singer part. So his factors are the things that make him up. On the other side of things, when you think of the multiples of him, if anyone's seen the real uh, Slim Shady video, and there's a scene where there are loads of Eminems uh, all uh, around singing and dancing, they're multiples of M&M. There's one M&M here, there's another M&M here, a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, a sixth one. And that's a multiple, many M&Ms. So with a number, it's a similar thing. For every number you've got, equivalent to Marshall Mathers, let's say, you have the factors of the number, the things that make that number up. And also, you have multiples of that number. So say, for example, if your number was eight, if you had one eight, you'd have eight. If you'd have two eights, you'd have 16. If you had three eights, you'd have 24. If you had four eights, you'd have 32, etc. And they're the multiples of eights, many eights together. So that's my idea about what factors and multiples are. Factor is something that makes up the number, and a multiple is several of the number. So let's formalize that with some definitions. So the factors of a number are the whole numbers that make that number from a multiplication. It must be a multiplication, okay? It must be a multiplication, and by that we mean uh, a times, when we're doing the times. So, because eight is one times eight, and eight is also two times four, one, two, four, and eight are the factors of eight. They are the numbers that multiply up to get you eight. They're like the parts of eight. Now the multiples of a number, you should copy this down, are the numbers in its times tables. For example, the multiples of eight, as we said before, are one eight is eight, two eights is 16, three eights is 24, four eights is 32, and this actually goes on forever. There are an infinite manner, a many of uh, multiples, whereas there are only uh, a finite many, certain number of factors. Okay, so hopefully we understand the ideas here. For any number, you have the parts that make it by a multiplication, the factors, and then you have um, many of the number. Multiple means many of the number. Okay, so they are the numbers in that numbers times tables. Okay, now we've got the idea, let's find out some factors and multiples of numbers by listing. Okay, here's example one. Write down all the factors of 10 and the first five multiples of 10. Okay, the way I like to do this, I like to do a picture as follows. I write 10 down and I will draw a line off it. What is the first two numbers that you know multiply to 10? Always start with your easiest number, 1 and the number itself. 1 and the number itself always multiply together to give you that number. So in the case of 10, 10 can be written as 1 multiplied by 10. Now, can 2 be multiplied with something to make 10? Yes, 2 multiplied by 5. Can 3? No, 3 can't. Can 4? 
No, four can't. And can five? Yes, five can. Five can be multiplied by two, but really we've already got that because we've got two multiplied by five. So I wouldn't um, bother writing that down. It's exactly the same. And similarly, you can have 10 times 1, uh, which is the same as 1 times 10. Okay? So we've got ourselves here the factors of 10. So the factors, if we list them out of 10, and the way I've written them really helps because you can just go down. It's 1. It's 2. It's 5. And it's 10. So the factors of 10 are those there. 1, 2, 5, and 10. Now the multiples are dead easy. Okay, The multiples aren't that hard. The multiples are just many of 10s. So the multiples of 10 are just the 10 times tables. Okay, And we want the first 5, so it's 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And it goes on, but we just want the first 5. Factors of 10, multiples of 10. Done. Right, example two, let's do another one. We want to write down all the factors of 20 and the first five multiples. Okay, the factors are the things that make up 20, the things that multiply together to give you 20. So don't forget, start off with the first one, the easy one, obviously one times 20, one multiplied by 20. Can two be multiplied with something to get 20? Yes, two multiplied by 10. Can three? No, three can't. Can four? Yes, four can. 4 multiplied by 5. Can 5? Yes, 5 can. 5 multiplied by 4. But we've already got that because that's the same as 4 multiplied by 5. So we don't have to include that. And once we've started repeating ourselves, all the others will be repeats. We'll have 10 times 2 and 20 times 1. We don't have to worry about them. So the factors of 20, we can therefore list them out going down the way I write them, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20, and we're done. And the multiples of, uh, of 20, the multiples of 20, well, they're just many 20s. So 1 20 is 20, 2 20s is 40, 3 20s is 60, uh, 4 20s is 80, and 5 20s is 100. It goes on, but we're only asked for the first five, and we're done. Okay, uh, let's just do a couple more. Uh, the factors of 7. Okay, the factors of 7. If you write 7 down, the only thing you can think of that multiplies to 7, two whole numbers, are 1 multiplied by 7. So its factors are actually just 1 and 7. And actually, we'll see in another video, this is known as a prime number. A prime number has only two different factors, two distinct factors. And let's do the multiples of 7. So the multiples of 7 are just 1 7, 2 7s are 14, 3 7s is 21, 4 7s is 28, and 5 7s is 35. We could keep going, but we're only asked for the first 5. Okay, one more, then it's time for you. Let's do 60, because it's a slightly bigger number. Let's work out the factors of 60. What multiplies to 60? Well, 1 multiplied by 60 works. Now try 2. Does 2 work? Yes, 2 multiplied by 30. Does 3 work? Yes, 3 multiplied by 20. Does 4 work? Yes, 4 multiplied by 15. Does 5 work? Yes, 5 multiplied by 12. Does 6 work? Yes, 6 multiplied by 10. Does 7 work? No, 7 doesn't divide into 20 or it can't be multiplied with another number to make, sorry, 60. Does 8 work? 8 doesn't turn out to work either, 9 doesn't turn out to work, and 10 works, 10 multiplied by 6. But we've already got that, so we stop at that point because everything's just going to be a repeat. Okay, so we can say that the factors of 60 are as follows. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. So 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. And we're done. Now the multiples of uh, 60 are just many 60s. So the multiples of 60, well, 160 is 60, 260s is 120, 360s is 180, 460s is 240, 560s is 300, and then we're done. We're only asked for five. And there we go.
their factors and multiples. I'll put a set of questions up for you. I'll give you 10 seconds. You can pause the video. In 10 seconds, I'll put the answers up and then we'll be done. You're asked to list all the factors of each of these numbers in the nine questions and the first five multiples for each. In 10 seconds, I'll show the answers. Okay, here are the answers. And hopefully you got those right now and you understand how to find the factors and multiples of numbers and you understand what factors and multiples are. Factors are the whole numbers that make up the number by a multiplication or a times and the multiples are many of the number. Okay, so one of the number, two of the number, three of the number, etc. Think to Slim Shady, uh, think to Marshall Mathers. His factors are the two personalities that make him up. And his multiples are like that video where there are many of him in the room. Thanks those for watching. I hope you found that useful. And I'll catch you again sometime.